your health. Come on, David, David, you need your rest. Come on, get off this freezing concrete floor before you catch cold. Come on. You mean about faith? Well, you see, a man can live his pile of I don't want you to catch cold. What's the matter with you? Genius. Genius? My dad. The total genius. Jeff, wake up. We got work to do. Get everybody down here right away. Look at that. Wow! Does this thing really fly in outer space? It most certainly does. Sure does look like it. All right, Connie, what's this all about? I have no idea. Get everybody off, though. All right, everybody. Clear the platform. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Major Mitchell, you have a pistol? What? You got a gun? Sergeant Hussano. See that uh, Coke can on top of the alien craft? Think you can shoot that thing off? Do it. Shoot it. Sir? That co-can was protected by the craft's shield. We can't penetrate their defenses. We know that already. What's your point? Right. My point is, if we can't beat their defenses, then we got to get around them. Major, one more time. Any time. How did you do that? I gave it a cold. I gave it a virus. Computer virus. Are you telling us you can send out a signal that will disable all their shields? That's right, just like they used our satellites against us. You can use their own signal against them. If we plant a virus into that mother ship, it's going to then filter down into all the corresponding ships below. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't understand. Just how exactly do we infect the mother ship with this virus? We're we're going to uh, have to um, <clears throat> fly their alien craft out of our atmosphere and dock with it. We can enter here, uh, as shown in the satellite photos. We then upload the virus. We then set off some kind of uh, explosion, which will disable it, and that will disorient the smaller ships below, and that could buy it, I think, at least some time to, uh, to take them take out, take them down, do your, do your stuff. This is ridiculous. How long will their shields be down? Uh, I don't know, a matter of minutes. You want us to coordinate a massive worldwide counterstrike with a window of only a few minutes? The shield's down, that might be possible. Oh, please. We don't have the manpower or the resources to launch that kind of a campaign. Not to mention that this whole cockamamie plan is dependent on a machine that no one in this world is qualified to operate. I wouldn't say that, sir. I've seen these things in action, and I'm well aware of their maneuvering capabilities. With your permission, General, I'd like the opportunity to try. That thing is a wreck. Crash landed back in the 50s. We don't even know if it's capable of flying. Jim, uh, remove the clamps. Let's do it. All right, you heard the president. Let's get this thing prepped. Good luck, pilot. Thank you, Mr. President. The virus. Your idea. That's right. Do you really think you can do all that bullshit you just said?